As if we don't have enough problems to deal with in this country, we have a new issue. The Labour Party are now plotting again, preparing themselves to join, rejoin the European Union when they get into power, or if they get into power. To be fair, the question is more when uh, rather than if, the way things are going for the Tory establishment. But this is Anna McMorrin, one of the Labour MPs, who's now rejoined the shadow cabinet, and she came out and said that, well, the ideal situation is to initially rejoin the single market and the customs union, and when we're in power, we can discuss uh, rejoining the actual EU membership. And this is absolutely disgusting, considering that there's a lot of people in this country, the majority, who have moved on from the whole point of the the Brexit argument about whether we should be a member or not is now about making Brexit Britain work, but she's too busy saying this. Which was, um, could we ever return to the EU single market? I hope so. I really hope so, because that that is the way in which customs union and single market, at the very least, I think, in the future, I hope that we will return to that. But at the moment, there is not really the scope having that conversation and at the moment what we need to be doing is making setting out what we're doing given what we have now so i love how she says at the very least rejoin the customs union single market which is basically being part of the eu like you don't actually have to be on paper eu member if you rejoin those two you are a member of the eu you're, you're under their control and then she says yeah, yeah at the very least that because at the moment we can't have that conversation because boris johnson is prime minister but what else do you expect? You want to become a more EU member? I don't know how that works. Uh, getting into government, that, there might be there might be some scope then to renegotiate. We certainly need to renegotiate the current deal, certainly. And I hope eventually that we will get back into the single market and customs union and who knows in the future then. Certainly. I mean, that, that, that's the line. That, that definitely, obviously, is, is such a given. The problem is that Starmer, my biggest problem with Starmer, is not necessarily his, you know, taking the knee or his uh, socialist policies as in introducing. He can't even manage his own team. He can't ha be a normal, basic leader because the position of the Labour Party publicly, it changes every 10 minutes. She resigned from Jeremy Corbyn's uh, front bench. Because the Labour Party, just before the election, it changed in 2018, changed their position uh, to say that, well, we're not going to rejoin the single market. That was basically to pretend that they accepted the result of the referendum. Then Starmer became leader and told us, yeah, 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 let's move on. Let's move on from that argument. And then decided to hire her back. I mean, you'd see what's going on here, right? <laughs> and also, let's just talk about facts. Let's talk about some facts here about uh, whether we should be part of the EU or not. What's happening with Brexit Britain? A lot of imperfection, a lot of stuff that needs to be dealt with. But the Office of National Statistics, the latest data that we have, which is from um, April, about a month, ago, one month and a half ago, is in terms of exports to, uh, well, the EU exports that we have, we, it's very, very basic common sense. EU exports have increased for the third consecutive month in April 2022, and are at the highest levels since records began. Despite inflation and cost of living crisis and money printing and all the problems that we're dealing with thanks to this government and the whole of the globalist establishment, that's still going well. The one thing that's going well is Brexit trade. And you wonder whether the Labour, Party, Labour politicians even have the intellectual capacity to even read and understand these basic statistics. They clearly don't because as we said, these are the idiots, uh, they, uh, and 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 uh, um, McMorrin was a uh, part of the, a couple of MPs, the Welsh MPs who resigned, uh, and Anna herself was saying that. Well, th this is one single, uh, simple position that you have to. I will only get back into front bench when there is an agenda to rejoin uh, the EU, whether they want to call it single single market or customs union or just the European Union. And we are going to come back on this channel. Um, in half an hour and then throughout the whole day we can have more updates for you guys on Ukraine's membership of the European Union which has been accelerated and we're going to talk about UK sovereignty uh, because clearly we don't even know who governs this country anymore we're going to be talking about Julian Assange's extradition to the US subscribe to the channel on my 2C and we are the media